Hi, I'm Elise. You must be Lorraine. Yes, nice to meet you. I'm sorry it's so late. My day job kind of makes raising my son a night job. Don't worry about it. In my line of work, things tend to happen when it gets dark. Please. Thank you. Ahoy, oh, Carl. <laughs> Elise, thank you for coming. I didn't know what else to do except call you. Oh, I understand. You had a big problem and you thought you'd make it my problem too, is that it? <laughs> I'm teasing. You know I'm always happy to help, Carl. Would you like some coffee or tea? No, thank you. I'd like to get started right away if that's okay. Carl told me on the phone, your son is the one affected, is that right? Yes, that's right. My son, Josh. Something is following him. Show it. I started with all of the usual checks, mental health tests, medical records, everything normal. Then I saw the photos. First noticed it about six weeks ago. Thought it was a camera problem. Then it became apparent that it was more than that. I interviewed the boy. He won't tell me anything. He's afraid. I'm afraid. There's something in this house. I can feel it. It doesn't want me here. Josh, I'm Elise. I would love to ask you some simple questions. Do you like living here? Yeah, I guess. Are there a lot of kids your age in this neighborhood? A few. One kid lives next door. That must be fun. Is there anything you don't like about living in this house? I have bad dreams sometimes. What happens in your dreams? I'd like to try something with you, Josh. And I promise, it won't hurt. I want you to just relax. Listen to the ticking. Focus on it. Tune everything else out. Feel yourself getting sleepier. We are now inside your dream, Josh. Look around. What do you see? I see myself sleeping in bed. Are you in your bedroom? No. I'm somewhere dark. It's always dark here. Are you alone? No. She's here. Who is she? She says she's a friend. She visits me every night. Where is she? Right at this moment. Is she here? In this house with us? I'd like to talk to her. Okay, we're gonna play a little game, Josh. It's called Hot and Cold. I'll walk around the house and you tell me if I'm getting warmer or colder.
hold there. Very hot. Please get out of there. Who are you? What do you want? Not a friend. It's a parasite. I've never felt such a malignant presence. It wants to be him. Miss Lambert, I think your son has a unique ability, a gift. When he sleeps at night, he's able to go places, see things. Things no living person is supposed to see. Only now, one of the dead has seen him too. Oh my God. Can you stop it? I could take away his gift to suppress his memory of his ability. How would we do that? I'll show you. Do whatever you have to. 